2016 may not have been the best year, but at least the music was great. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 singles of the year. For this list, the criteria is simple. We're looking at singles that made the biggest splash in 2016. Number 10, Cold Water, Major Lazer featuring Justin Bieber and Mo. So take a deep breath and let it go. For a song that wasn't originally supposed to come out in 2016, it definitely made an impact. After some coaxing on Twitter by Justin Bieber to release the song, the DJ duo decided to give in to Justin's excitement and put it out ahead of schedule. I let go. As a mid-tempo dancehall meets Eurodance track, it has a more chilled-out feel than other efforts from Major Lazer. While you might think this sounds like a slow burn song, it debuted at number 2 on the Hot 100 and showcased a little of what's in store for the duo's upcoming album, Music is the Weapon. Number 9, I Took a Pill in Ibiza, Seab Remix, Mike Posner. I'm living out in LA, I drive a sports car just to prove, I'm a real big baller cause I made a million dollars and I spend it on girls and shoes. Making a return to the mainstream charts, this song brought Mike Posner back into our lives after a lengthy hiatus. And when I finally got sober, felt 10 years older, but f it, it was something to do. Originally written and performed as a down-tempo folk song, it's the Seab remix that became a hit. The DJ trio took Mike's introspective tune about his drug use and struggles with fame and paired it with a tropical house beat to make it pop for listeners. I can't keep a girl, no, cause as soon as the sun comes up, I cut them all loose and works my excuse, but the truth is I can't open up. It worked, and the song burst on the airwaves, landing its spots in top 10 charts all over the world. In addition, it became Posner's highest charting single and got him a Grammy nod for Song of the Year. Number 8, Heathens, 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots have been gaining momentum for some time now, but this track cements them as major players in the music industry. Creepy and haunting, the melody and lead singer Tyler Joseph's voice have a hypnotizing effect that make the track unforgettable. You live another psychopath sitting next to you. You live another murderer sitting next to you. You think gotta get this sitting next to you. Written for the Suicide Squad soundtrack, it's still true to the band's sound while it also managed to appeal to a broader audience. success is working for the duo, as they've earned three Grammy nominations for the 2017 awards, including Best Rock Song and Best Rock Performance. Number 7, This Is What You Came For, Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. Baby, this is what you came for. While the drama surrounding the song's writing credits did make for a pretty epic case of he said, she said between Calvin Harris and Taylor Swift, at the end of the day, no one would care if the song wasn't a damn good one. Sung by Rihanna, this was the perfect summer song for a feel-good time. Bouncy, playful, and sexy, this tune has a timeless quality to it that makes it infectious and something you just have to dance to. Calvin may have to thank Taylor since it's his highest peaking single as a lead artist, but we'll stay out of that one.
Number 6. Closer, the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. Hey. Doing just fine before I met you. This DJ duo has come a long way since selfie. Well, Andrew Taggart, one half of the duo, sung this mournful track in collaboration with Halsey, another up and comer who's making a name for herself. Look as good as the day I met you. I forget just why I left you. I was insane. Lyrically, the song discusses a breakup that neither side seems to be quite over. It hits just the right points of nostalgia, with references to Blink-182 that resonate with a millennial audience. The song gave Drake a serious run for its money with Song of the Summer, and also allowed the duo to surpass Calvin Harris for the most number one dance electronic songs to top the charts. Number 5. Sorry, Beyonce. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 2016 was a big year for Bay, with songs like Formation becoming both a hit and a hot topic in the cultural conversation. Musically, though, Sorry is one that stole our hearts. With this rebellious tune, she's giving the ultimate F you middle fingers up send off to the people who have betrayed her. She's definitely not sorry as she strikes the balance between being vengeful yet carefree. And we can't talk about the song without mentioning the infamous Becky with the good hairline that spurred endless conversation about who that could be. He only want me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. At the end of the day, Becky's identity doesn't matter, but we're glad she pissed Beyonce off enough to bless us with this gem. He better call Becky with the good hair. Number 4. Work. Rihanna featuring Drake. Rihanna and Drake have to be one of the best musical pairings out there, and this song proves that they've still got it. Steamy and sultry, the lyrics explore two sides of a relationship, where Rihanna wants something more serious and Drake's just down for a good time, much like their earlier collaboration, What's My Name. While many couldn't get the word work out of their heads for days, Rihanna was unapologetic in channeling her island roots as she peppered in some Jamaican patois. It became Riri's 14th number one hit, making her the solo artist with the third most number ones under her belt. Number 3. Panda. Designer. I got bribes in the land. Just a dolly in the fan. Credit cards in the scams. Hitting the licks in the van. Something of a sleeper hit, this one managed to have a complete takeover in 2016. Designer originally put the track out in December 2015, but it wasn't until Kanye West heavily sampled it in his song Part 2 that a broader audience began to take notice. Be released in February 2016, the song took off from there. Designer's unique flow and wordplay paired with the sick beat made it stand out from anything else on the radio and rise above the other trap songs out there. The song reached number one on the Billboard charts, breaking a 41-week streak of non-Americans in the top spot. Not too bad for a song about a car. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See Show them it, girl. With a bang bang. Number two, Cheap Thrills. Sia featuring Sean Paul. Originally written for Rihanna, we're glad that Sia ended up recording this one. Relaxed yet infectious, this was the perfect song to have on for a good time. The synth pop meets dancehall rhythm paired with Sia's raspy vocals makes it a dynamic earworm. Yeah, 
There are two versions of this song, one without Jamaican star Sean Paul, but it's his verse that takes the song from great to legendary. The single was a major success and became Sia's first number one hit as a lead artist, as well as being Sean Paul's first number one since 2006's Temperature. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. For all the girls that get dick from Kanye West, if you see him in the streets, give him Kanye's best. Why? They mad they ain't famous. Number one, One Dance, Drake featuring Wizkid and Kyla. Grips on your ways, front way, back way, you know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away, even when I'm away. What would this year have been without this single? Nothing. We kid. But seriously, this dancehall track dominated the airwaves. I need a One Dance, got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time for I go. Using a sample of Kyla's 2008 underground hit, Dre crafted a playful song that embodies how fun and carefree a night spent on the dance floor can be. What's more is that the song marks Drake's first number one hit as a lead artist, and on top of that record, he now holds the record for most streamed song on Spotify, with nearly a billion streams and counting. With his Hennessy in hand, Drake made not only the song of the summer, but also the song of the year. I need a one dance, got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time for I go, higher powers taking hold. Do you agree with our list? Which song could you not get enough of? For more Can't Miss Musical Top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.